All right, y'all. Nick Cannon hosted a male panel on Wednesday's episode of his show, Nick Cannon, with some of his friends and admitted to having insecurities in the bedroom. Cannon reveals, I've got to tell you, I definitely have an insecurity when it comes to being intimate. I've been skinny my whole life, so therefore I've never liked to be completely naked. It's usually like I hide under the covers as much as I boast about being in shape. Do you relate to what Nick said? And if so, do y'all have any insecurities in bed? Now, I most I most definitely relate to Nick Cannon representing for the skinny boys. Now, in terms of me being insecure about getting naked in, in the act of sex, n- n- not so much. But I can honestly share with y'all, um, I didn't start wearing shorts in public till about uh, maybe about six years ago, six, seven years ago. Um, because I was just so insecure about my legs being so skinny that I would just wear jeans. I mean, I'd be out here in Miami in 90 degree weather with jeans on. I was, the, I was the kid that went to pool parties and wore pants. You know what I'm saying? I bet the pool party in a full Tommy outfit with jeans on and sneakers, um, because I was so small. So I definitely get, and you know, a lot, a lot of times granted being skinny is a bit more socially acceptable than being um Mm -hmm. overweight but people don't understand that um people who are extremely skinny and people who are overweight they actually suffer with the same Same it's two sides of the same coin i always say nobody wants to be fat nobody wants to be skinny everybody would in ideal world have the perfect body type and i think that um people don't bring enough attention to the things that skinny people go to in terms of body image because it's so socially acceptable in comparison to being fat. But I relate to Nick. <clears throat> okay. Al? You know, this is why America loves Nick's canon. He is endearing. He's transparent. He's um, uh, uh, personable. He's vulnerable. He's sensitive. This is exactly why he has all those beautiful women, including Mariah Carey and all them babies, mamas. I mean, I, I, I just... I can't get enough of his transparency these days. And I think it makes for great television. And, and, and Funky's right. I, I too <laughs> have like what I think to be skinny legs. So if I had any insecurity is one of the things that I don't do is I don't wear a lot of shorts, but I'm going to Well, your me. legs just appear skinny because you went and got a BBL. <laughs> and so <laughs> you... <laughs> You got that. Donkey Phil, you don't want me to start talking about those daggone clotheslines that you are standing on right now. <laughs> so you, you, do not, you don't want any of this looking like the guy from the peanut. Pe- peanut. <sighs> what's, the, what's the guy from the peanut planet of peanut? The one oh. that the peanut with the legs? Al, right. I'm going to spare you because you don't even know how to read, Al. You ain't I don't that, know how to read. You, you, ain't, you, ain't, you ain't even from that side of the tracks, Al, so don't even try. Just, <laughs> Claudia, just go on the commercial. <laughs> We're going to take a quick commercial break. Shout out to over 2,700 people up there hey. in the live chat. Call a friend. Let's get us to 3,000. We'll be right back after this break. 